Um, yeah, so Sampia is this company um, that creates uh, multi-platform experiences and what we're interested in doing um, is creating experiences that can connect the physical world and our real world experiences with the digital world. And part of what we're interested in wanting to create is transportive experiences that can uh, place an audience in, into an artwork or into a story or into a story world or sometimes into an organization or into a company. So um, um, yeah, the work we do is very, very diverse. We, we work with a whole set of organizations. Um, and we think we're in a really exciting point in the world now where we think that um, we've entered in the past few years a stage where the audience has returned to being an active participant to our process of storytelling. And in a way, we, we kind of go, this is a return to the traditions of storytelling. If you think about the storytelling around a campfire, humans are sitting there together and people, the process is exchanging those stories together. And then, um, as I say, as performance developed, you know, like in the Shakespearean in Elizabethan times, like going to a show was actually this big rowdy affair. You were seeing a show, but you were there, it was rowdy and people were getting drunk and it was very informal. And so there was something kind of um, about a group engaging. And what we think is really interesting is when we hit the, the 20th century with um, film and television and radio, the dynamic shifted for a while where it was about going into a darkened room and kind of sitting down and shutting up and not saying anything and being this sort of passive passive recipient and what's I think incredibly interesting in our world in this digital era is we've got all of these mechanisms that allow um, all of us in our day-to-day -day lives to be um, active and this must be really funny with me talking <laughs> like it's like what is going on there why is there an otter and a big blue thing so, so we'll talk <laughs> Who works at the Adelaide Zoo and the Melbourne Zoo that were kind of in the world that Sam's talking about getting audiences yeah. to engage? Yeah. So it is kind of relevant, isn't it? The weird sort of slideshow that came up. Um, so, so yeah, we're, we're really excited about what it means to bring, um, to, to activate, to make, to make audiences activated and participants. Um, and so, yeah, we're like, we work with a, a diverse range. So like Dan was the same, we work with like zoos, we're doing a project with Penguin Books and we're working with independent feature films. So we've got this uh, whole kind of scale and we want to talk a little bit about... That's a good segue because that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, go Dan. <laughs> so um, <laughs> we've been working recently with a production company from Adelaide called Closer Productions who have um, just finished a feature film that premiered at the Adelaide Film Festival two weeks ago called 52 Tuesdays. And 52 Tuesdays was shot every Tuesday for a year. Uh, chronologically, and it's a story from the daughter's perspective of a mother who transitions from female to male. Um, and the actor that actually played the mother began the process of transitioning during the making of the film. So it's a really incredible film. We actually see a lot of the kids, especially in the film, kind of grow up over that period of time, but also the different characters change in pretty full-on ways. Um, and we actually did some work um, at the Multi-Platform Clinic, which is an initiative that, the, uh, that Screen Australia ran last year with Closer, talking about ways that we could engage broader communities with the film. So we saw an initial problem as the film uh, will tour internationally going, this is going to be pegged as a queer film. So how can we engage other people to access a narrative um, of the film, but also get involved with the way that the filmmakers made the film? Uh, so what we've done is to create a campaign called My 52 Tuesdays. Um, we've built an app that you can download. It's for Android or iOS. It's free, so anyone can do it. Um, which asks you a question every Tuesday for a year. Um, some of the questions are kind of personal, some of them are kind of playful, but it gives you a profile, and you can choose to make it public or private, it's up to you, but it gives you a profile of uh, your year. Um, but we want to go one step further, as Sam was saying before, Sam is kind of about engaging people in a digital space, but also in a real world space. So we built uh, this uh, uh, connected phone, uh, photo booth that uh, we just toured around the Adelaide Film Festival um, that was in conjunction with the release of the film. So you go into the photo booth, um, there's a screen, it asks you a, ser a question, you write your question on a bit of paper and take kind of a selfie in the booth. Um, and then you put in your email address. Um, and then uh, once you get home, you get your photo that, um, that was taken in the booth. These are all the photos <laughs> taken during the film festival, or some of them. Um, and uh, from there, you can log in and log into the app. And the, the profile picture in the app is the, the photo that got taken of you in the booth. Um, and the question that is asked here is, what advice would you give um, your 16-year-old self? 
Um, and a lot of those questions were kind of really amazing. Yeah, and then part, part of what we wanted to do is make those questions about um, the ideas of the film and being able to experience them through your own life. And hopefully the, the amazing project that was 52 Tuesdays means will be kind of discovered by people through engaging with the process of the film and the ideas of the film. And we've so, got a 30 second video just to show you that and demonstrate what the app does. The speaker works. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.